Let's dive into the world of cells. Cells are the building blocks of all living things. And today, we're going to explore what the cell theory is all about and how it helps us understand these tiny units of life. So, what exactly is cell theory? It's a super important scientific idea that tells us three main things about cells. First, it says that all living things are made up of cells. Whether we're talking about a tree, a human, or even a tiny bacterium, every living organism is made of one or more cells. For some organisms, like bacteria, a single cell is their whole body. For others, like us humans, we're made of trillions of cells, each with its own job to do. Second, the cell theory states that cells are the basic unit of structure and function in living things. This means that everything your body does, like digesting food, moving your muscles, or thinking with your brain, happens because of the work that your cells are doing. Cells are like the tiny workers in your body, each with their own special tasks. They build, break down, transport, and communicate, keeping everything running smoothly. The third point in cell theory is that all cells come from pre-existing cells. Cells don't just pop into existence from nowhere. They reproduce by dividing, with one cell becoming two, two becoming four, and so on. This is how living things grow and repair themselves, by creating new cells to replace old or damaged ones. Even when you're healing from a cut, the cells in your skin are working hard, dividing and making new cells to close the wound. So, how do cells actually work? Well, each cell has its own little parts, called organelles, that help it do its job. Think of organelles like tiny machines inside the cell. For example, the nucleus is like the control center of the cell, holding the DNA and telling the cell what to do. The mitochondria are the powerhouses, providing energy for the cell's activities. And the cell membrane acts like a security guard, deciding what can come in or out of the cell. Each of these organelles helps the cell function and, in turn, keeps the organism alive. Now, all living things are made of either prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are simpler and smaller, like bacteria, and don't have a nucleus. Instead, their DNA floats around inside the cell. Eukaryotic cells are more complex, with a nucleus and many different organelles. Animals, plants, fungi, and protists are all made of eukaryotic cells. Whether simple or complex, all cells follow the rules of the cell theory. So, what's the big picture? Cell theory is a key part of biology because it explains that all living things are made of cells, that cells are the basic units of life, and that new cells come from pre-existing cells. Cells are the smallest unit that can carry out the functions of life, and understanding how they work helps us understand how life itself works. From the tiniest bacteria to the tallest trees, cells are at the heart of it all. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you think about the living world, remember that everything from the largest animal to the smallest plant is built from these amazing little units called cells.